What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we have another foodie video, but this time we're focusing on Asian food. So I do have a list of one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'll have a couple like honorable mentions as well at the end. But we have quite a bit to get through, so let's just get right into it. So let's start off with pho bok. Fubok has a couple of locations between downtown and South Seattle. They just recently opened up their downtown location, which is great because it's way closer to me than like Rainier Valley, and it is definitely worth checking out. The original location has been open since 1982, so it's been around for a while, but I definitely think like if you were to ask anybody in Seattle, they would know what Fubok is. Their most popular dish is easily the short rib pho, and I can confirm it is definitely worth trying out. It is so good, and I feel like it's a little bit more unique than what you usually go when you just go to a sit down pho place. Oh, and also, they have some of the best banh mi's I have ever had. So every time I go now, I just want the banh mi. Like, I love me some pho, but I am all about that banh mi sandwich. They have a couple different options for their banh mi sandwiches. I'll throw up the name of the one that I usually get. I would probably butcher it myself, so this is what I get. They are open Monday through Saturday, and they did just recently in the downtown location open a bar upstairs, and it's called Pacific Standard Time, which I love. Uh, but it's a cute little, it has like speakeasy vibes. I love the like decor that they have going on. I love the vibes of it. The music is good. The drinks are super good. So I highly recommend checking that out as well if you get a chance. I think it opens later in the day. Um, I'll find out the hours and I'll throw them up here as well. Overall, if you like pho, definitely check out Pho Bok. Moving on, this next one, I probably should have put it first, but this next one we spend so much time at. It's kind of ridiculous, honestly. But the next one on my list is Bang Rack Market. So Bang Rack is Thai street food inspired and it's actually named after the Bang Rack like district or neighborhood in Bangkok and it's very like colorful and lively and I just love the atmosphere of it. I will say if you're looking for like a quiet dinner, you might not like it there. It, like I said, is very lively. It's very upbeat. It's pretty loud inside, but that's why we love it. It's just like a good time every time we go. Not to mention the food is always good. Like I've never had a bad experience there. Although I will say if you're not great with spice, don't even order like any of the numbers. I don't remember what the number ranges are, but sometimes it's a little iffy and you can get some real crazy spice. But other than that, I've had no problems with anything there. I've loved everything I've gotten. Their menu is super large, so you have so many options. And we usually will do like family style where we just order a bunch of stuff and then we all pick and choose what we want and it works out great. Although we do go there all the time, I feel like I haven't even like put a dent in the menu, but two things that I always get are the crispy pork belly and the green beans. They're just so good. 
Bang Rack is open seven days a week. They do get super busy on weekends, so I would say if you wanna go on a weekend, probably make a reservation ahead of time or like put your name on the waiting list. I don't know if they do reservations, but they do have a waiting list, so put your name on the waiting list, go grab a drink somewhere else or something and come back. It's definitely worth the wait. Next on my list is Umisake House. And this was actually my first like introduction to sushi when I moved to Seattle. Not my first introduction to sushi ever, but in Seattle. <laughs> and I've loved it ever since. more on the upscale vibe so I guess if that's what you're looking for you would love it um, they do have a really nice happy hour in the front area if you just want something like quick and cheaper but umisake is a great option if you love sushi our three favorite things to get when we go there are we always get the hamachi kama uh, we pretty much always get calamari and then the mango tango roll is easily my favorite sushi roll it has mango in it, obviously, as the name says. And I just like, I don't know, I love the pairing of sweet with like the salty of the fish. So good. It's actually quite large inside. Like I said, they have the front part where you can do happy hours. And then they have like a back section where there's like a bar on the side and then like sushi bar in the middle. And then there's like a back patio as well. So you can definitely have a large party there if you wanted to. They are open seven days a week for dinner only. So I also recommend making a reservation for there too if you're trying to get in because they also get super busy. But I'm pretty sure they're open till like 11 or midnight. So you can probably get a spot if you try hard enough. So the next one on my list, I was a back and forth between which one I wanted to put, but I ended up going with Dozone. So I was between Dozone and Din Tai Fung, but Dozone is known for their dumplings. For this one, I don't even know like what to say to get because everything is good. Um, I think my favorites are the pork bao. You have to get the shaolong bao, obviously. Uh, their sweet and sour cucumber is really good. And then we usually get their dan dan noodles as well. When I went to film for this video, we got so much that it couldn't even fit on the table. They do have a couple other locations. They're mainly located in Washington. They have a bunch of locations here. But then they do have, I think, two in California, and then they're opening one in Oregon soon. Dozone is also open seven days a week, so definitely have plenty of opportunities if you're visiting or whatnot to go and check it out. So for these next two, I do want to apologize that the only footage I have is a vertical format because I thought I was just going to make TikToks and I ended up just wanting to make a full video, so that is why those are the way they are. But the next one on my list is Dilong Yi Hot Pot.
I feel like you can't go wrong with hot pot. Like, I don't know why anybody wouldn't like hot pot. Even if you're vegan, you can go and get vegetables. So I feel like everybody can like hot pot. But this one specifically, we really enjoyed. So this one is located in Green Lake, so just outside the city. And you can go with two people, you can go by yourself, but I do recommend going with a group of people. I find that it's super fun that way. They have a sauce bar, so you can make your own dipping sauce, make it all customizable and exactly how you want it to taste, which I love a sauce bar. And then they also have all you can eat meat and sides for only $30 a person, which I don't know about you, that to me sounds like a great deal. That's what we did when we went there and it was totally worth it. And then you can get up to three different like soups at one time so you can have a variety of flavors. Hot pot is one of those things where you have to come hungry because you end up eating so much, but it's so good. It's always good. Especially I feel like in the winter time because it's just like the warm soup and I don't know, I just feel like it's perfect. So DeLonghi is open for dinner Wednesday through Sundays. So this last one is Definitely not in the city, you definitely have to make a trip out for it, but I'm telling you, you won't regret it. The next one is Barcada. Barcada is Filipino Hawaiian inspired and kind of like those on this one. I'm not kidding, like get anything on the menu. I have nothing to recommend because I'm recommending everything. Everything is good and I'm not just saying that because this is Austin's uncle's restaurant, but I'm, I'm serious, everything is good. They also do a lot of like specials and pop-up days, so they're always keeping it interesting. You can always find something fun there. If you like ube, definitely get their ube cocktails and their ube cookie. I'm like obsessed with the ube cookies. They're so good and they're not like too sweet. That's what I love about ube. It's like the perfect, just sweet enough without being overpowering. Something else that's fun about Barcada is that inside they have a Sari Sari store. So if you want like snacks, sometimes they have drinks and things like that you can take home. We always get the shrimp chips when we're there. We pretty much never leave without shrimp chips. They are open for dinner Wednesdays through Saturdays. It's just a super fun environment and the food is so freaking good. So if you ever get the chance to make it up to Edmonds, definitely check out Barcada. Okay, so now before I end the video, I am gonna throw a couple honorable mentions at you. So take notes. I just didn't happen to get footage for any of these places. That's why they're honorable mentions. But are you ready? Okay. Snowy Village, Jade Garden, Fremont Bowl, Din Tai Fung, Karage Setsuna, Hood Famous, and Chung Chun Rice Hot Dog. Would recommend, check them out, write them down, save them for later. But that is gonna be it for my video today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some ideas of places to check out. And also, if you have some places that you love in Seattle that you just like swear by that I haven't tried or I didn't add to this list, comment them down below so I can go try them out. But that is going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!